Bruce Lee, looking sharp in the 1970s, conjures an image of the iconic martial artist and actor exuding style and charisma. A horse being hauled out of the water in Amsterdam in 1929 captures a moment of rescue or recovery, shedding light on the challenges faced by both humans and animals in a dynamic urban environment. On September 2nd, 1924, a photograph captured the auto house of Will A. Harris of Texas in Washington, D.C. A beauty salon in the 1960s conjures an image of a place where beauty and fashion trends of that era were shaped. The salon would have been a hub for hairstyling, makeup application, and other beauty rituals reflecting the fashion sensibilities of the time. A bagel seller in front of the now-demolished Uniri market in Bucharest during the 1930s captures the daily hustle and bustle of a street vendor offering bagels. Tina Louise, known for her role as Ginger Grant from Gilligan's Island, brings to mind the iconic character and the cultural impact of the popular television series. In 1933, a remarkable photograph captures Amelia Earhart, the pioneering aviator, giving a flying lesson. This image showcases Earhart's trailblazing spirit and her commitment to breaking gender barriers in aviation during an era when female pilots faced significant challenges. French soldiers saluting one of their fallen comrades during the Battle of Cote, 304 in Verdun, France, on the 25th of August, 1917, captures a moment of tribute and remembrance amid the intense and devastating battles of World War I. Serra Pallada was one of the largest open-pit gold mines in the world, located in the state of Pará in northern Brazil. The mine gained international attention in the 1980s due to the extraordinary scenes of thousands of prospectors climbing the steep sides of the pit to extract gold. Officer F.G. Plamondon engaging in a moment of reflection beside a marijuana plant within the confines of Van Nuys Jail. The presence of the marijuana plant serves as a reminder of the ongoing efforts to combat illicit substances within the community. In the late 19th century, Native American communities in southeast Idaho were primarily represented by several tribes, each with its distinct cultural practices, languages, and traditions. Some of the prominent tribes in the region included the Shoshone Bannock, Shoshone Paiute, and Northern Shoshone. Sophia Loren, born Sophia Villani Siccoloni, is an iconic actress and one of the most celebrated film stars of the 20th century. Renowned for her exceptional beauty and talent, Loren's career has spanned several decades, and she has received numerous accolades for her contributions to the film industry. In the 1970s, Mary Quant, a pioneering British designer, presented her spring collection featuring bold colors, wide leg trousers, boho chic elements, playful accessories, and feminine silhouettes. Her iconic designs were complemented by platform shoes and innovative accessories. Splendor in the Grass is a classic American film released in 1961, directed by Elia Kazan and starring Warren Beatty, and Natalie Wood. The film is drama that explores themes of young love, societal expectations, and the challenges of coming of age in a conservative environment. Where Marines Go, Their Pinups Go reflects the cultural phenomenon during World War II, where soldiers, including US Marines, often carried images of pinup girls as a form of morale-boosting and a connection to home. 
Pin-up images featuring glamorous and often idealized depictions of women were widely popular during this era and were frequently found in military barracks and carried by servicemen. Maya Lansky was a prominent figure in the world of organized crime and a key architect of the National Crime Syndicate, a confederation of criminal organizations that operated in the United States from the 1930s to the 1950s. Lansky was often referred to as the mob's accountant due to his expertise in managing the financial aspects of criminal enterprises. A paper boy and his Schwinn DX bicycle from the 1950s evokes a nostalgic glimpse into a bygone era. During this time, the newspaper delivery job was a common part-time occupation for many young boys, and the Schwinn DX bicycle was a popular choice for such endeavors. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926 in Los Angeles, rose from a challenging childhood to become an iconic figure in American culture. Initially a model, Monroe transitioned to acting, gaining fame with comedic roles in films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, 1953. Her image, synonymous with glamour, made her a cultural icon of the 1950s. Mark Twain playing pool in year 1900 provides a glimpse into the more casual and leisurely side of the renowned American author. In 1966, David Bowie, born David Robert Jones on January 8, 1947, was a young and emerging artist on the cusp of his musical journey. Chicago during 1960s this period reflects a dynamic and evolving urban landscape, encapsulating the spirit of the times and the various social movements that shaped the city's history. Camera Girls in the early 1940s. During this time, photography was becoming more accessible to the general public and advancements in camera technology allowed individuals to engage in photography as a hobby or a means of artistic expression. Clark Gable, the American film actor known as the King of Hollywood. Gable's career spanned the transition from silent films to the golden era of Hollywood, and he rose to fame in the 1930s, becoming an iconic leading man. Starring in over 60 motion pictures, Gable left an indelible mark on the film industry, known for his charisma, rugged charm, and memorable performances. Cheryl Lynn Miller, born on February 4, 1943, is a versatile American talent known for her roles in acting and music. With a career that spans across both realms, she has contributed significantly to the entertainment landscape. During World War II on March 9, 1943, Private First Class Joseph M. Thais showcased the functionality of an asbestos suit in England. This innovative suit proved to be a life-saving solution for pilots facing the harrowing possibility of burning planes. In 1955, the iconic James Dean was captured attending a dance class in New York City. During this period, James Dean's fame was skyrocketing, fueled by his groundbreaking performances in films like Rebel Without a Cause and East of Eden. June Wilkinson is a distinguished English model and actress celebrated for her notable presence in the cultural landscape of the 1960s. June Wilkinson gained widespread recognition for her captivating appearances in Playboy magazine, becoming a symbol of beauty and elegance during an era of changing cultural norms. A suspension bridge gracefully spanned the Capilano River in Canada, showcasing a marvel of engineering against the backdrop of the Canadian landscape. 
The suspension bridge, a testament to early 20th century engineering ingenuity, provided a vital link, allowing individuals to traverse the rugged terrain and cross the Capilano River with heightened ease and efficiency. In the early 1900s, a snapshot of Americana unfolds in the form of a typical U.S. corner grocery store. The scene is bustling with activity, featuring horse-drawn carts laden with provisions and attentive grocers standing ready to serve the community. Yishin, born on January 11, 1833, and passing away on May 29, 1898, was an imperial prince of the Isingioro clan during the late Qing dynasty in China. Noteworthy for his involvement in the Second Opium War and the signing of the Treaty of Tientsin in 1856, Yixin later became the regent for the young Emperor Tongzhi, navigating the empire through a tumultuous period of internal strife, external pressures, and reform attempts. Thank you for joining us in this visual journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and family. Until next time, travel well and stay safe.